So, all right, YouTube, today we're going to play some of the, uh, some Suicide Zoo. This deck, um, the same player won, um, the Magic Online Challenge and then the PTQ of this a couple weeks ago. It's kind of a throwback to the old style of Death Shadow deck that was legal when Pro was legal. It's much more of a combo deck. You know, you got your Swift Spears, your Mutagenic Growths, your Quad Battle Rage, and Become Immense. So it's just much more of a combo deck that's more uh, all in and aggressive. Um, I don't, I haven't played a lot with this deck. I played it a little bit before Gutaxian Probe was banned and haven't really touched it since. But I know there's a lot of like weird sequencing that you have to do. I, like, this deck's likely going to be pretty hard to play because you have to juggle the Death Shadow, the mana base, and threading the needle on a combo. So, but like, you know, like this deck has the ability to play like Wild Nacatl on turn one and then just go like Growth, 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 Battle Rage and like kill somebody potentially. Same thing with Swiss Spear, like Mutagenic Growth with Swiss Spear is a plus three, plus three. Um, yeah, these, these numbers are weird though. Like, I, I don't know why they have Hooting Mandrels. Like, the old version of this deck used to not play as many Tarmogoyfs as are in this version. So maybe the Hooting Mandrels are there for, like, collected company decks or something. Like, like those small chump blocker decks? I'm not sure. Or maybe, like, Hard and Scales Affinity? I could buy that. I was going to say, I could be for Graveyard Hate, but that doesn't work either. So this deck's like much closer to like the traditional Jun Shadow deck than it is the um, than it is like a Traverse deck than it is like a the Grixis one that is more popular now. So let's jump in league. Competitive modern league. Let's see how this is. Hopefully it goes better than, than our than our meme deck. But it likely will. It can't go much worse. <clears throat> how did you grab all the cards at once? I just like dragged my mouse across like that, like held the click down or just hit control A. <clears throat> hmm. This is likely going to be tough to navigate. <laughs> oh, my opponent's very nice. Um, I think I keep. Uh, I've only got one threat. This doesn't do anything. I'm going to roll again. Okay. Put it on top. Alright, so I'm going to start. I think I'm going to go get Blood Crypt. And then Bobble. I think. What, do I have a Blood Crypt in the deck? I have to like, look over here at my man's. Yeah, my mana. Yeah, I have a Blood Crypt. I think I want to get a Blood Crypt. Because it lets me cast Lightning Bolt and Death Shadow. And I'm going to bobble after I play Swiss Spear because I get a Prowess Trigger. The struggle. I probably should have bottomed this Thought Seize. Like, that was probably pretty stupid. Of me. Because I just need another land. Put a Thought Scar on top. So we're playing against a Phoenix deck for sure. Yeah, keeping this on top of lose because we just need another land. Because we need to do damage to ourselves and play Tarmogoyf. Alright, well we hit a land. It's not a good land. 
We can deal four damage to ourselves. So we can't quite play that shadow. What do they do with their scampers? They want that. They did want that thought scour. I can just F6 here, I'm not doing anything. If this is a thing in the ice, that's a little scary. Okay, you got it, opponent. So they have a thought scour that we know about. <clears throat> the fact that I didn't play thing is good for the home team. And this hair vision is okay. That's pretty good. One, two, three. I probably just take Serum Visions and then take Terramander. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't want to get into a game of hokey pokey with this Terramander. And if we draw land, we can go Goyf Shadow next turn. Put 10 power on the board. If not, we're going to play the Shadow off the Godless Shrine. I think we knew about that one. Yep, we did. They put a card on the bottom. I think this is a deck that should play Surgical Extraction in its main deck. Because, like, it's prowess, you know. I think it's a good one to do. All right, they thought scoured into a phoenix. Okay, so here comes a phoenix from our opponent, which is okay. We're gonna go down to eight, then play our shadow. They put a card on the bottom. I don't think I'm cycling this. I think we're gonna play this. I think it's just two, like, because we can potentially. I think I'm gonna bolt this because we can. We get two looks at like potential ways to win the game next turn. Because like a battle raid wins us the game. I think land plus become events probably wins us the game. attack <coughs> I don't think they should I'm gonna cycle at the end of the turn because if I hit battle rage <sighs> okay so let's think I deal myself five I'm dead to lightning bolt so I don't want to do that so I might as well just untap I play a basic forest, so I can just still cycle this. I don't think I can play my Swift Spear. 
but I do think I can play Tarmogoyf. Going to two. Okay. I still don't think I can go to three. Just get this. Play the big man, hope they don't flip. I should actually hang on, give me one second. Alright, that's not good. We also, today marks the day that we got Philly. Uh, we got Philly 10, one year ago today, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, we're super dead. We're super dead here. They're just gonna kill us with a flip thing. Yep. We did. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so against this deck, I think we just want ways to kill Thing in the Ice. Uh, Duress is probably probably all my discards good. Um, this is like a maybe. Cards that I don't think are great. Bolt's probably not that good. Tomboy is probably decent on the play. Um, I probably can just shave like... Shave some of this. I don't think I want my trophies on the play on the draw. On the play, I mean, I'll, I'll bring them on the draw, but I want to be I want to be aggressive. I don't want to load my deck up with removal. I'm gonna try this. I think you have to balance how much like what you want in your deck with a deck like this. You can't dilute it too too much. The combo should be good. Well, it might not be. Maybe I should board out like one become events and keep in a growth because growth usually counters lightning bolt. Yeah, we'll try that. <clears throat> I think this deck easily can play main deck extraction just because it's, it's just another like Phyrexian card that pumps and enables shadow. <laughs> to go for right now. Ugh. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my nose. I'll be right back. You had me for a year, big boy.
Okay. So let's play first. And we got a mulligan. Hey, back up. All right, we'll keep this hand. Put this in the bottom. <clears throat> so I can go get Blood Crypt, which is, I'm probably going to need at some point anyways. So I'm going to go get Blood Crypt with this, place with Spirit Attack. I don't think there's any need for me to cycle Street Wraith right now. Oh, I got Sacred Foundry. I couldn't even talk. <clears throat> That's okay. That probably means that... Yeah, I was supposed to get Blood Crypt, because like now if I need an untapped black source, I could take unnecessary damage. It's pretty cool. I'm going to cycle this right now, because Immunogenic Growth saves my Swiss Spear. Okay. There's an argument to cycling main phase, because like I get one more point in. Okay, so now we just bobble. Looking for a Goyf or a Death Shadow at this point. Another Swiss Sphere. I think another Swiss Sphere is good. Sorry, I'm just peeling an orange here. This deck's, this deck's like weird, it's just hard to play. I gotta figure out how much damage I wanna take. Don't think it's a lot. We're gonna keep the Swift Spear. Because <clears throat> we have a line where we go like Swift Spear dismember next turn. You can play two, it's not that big of a deal. Well, now I'm just going to play. Now I'm just going to play Tom and Wife and Dismember. Just can't fetch a basic. So let's get an Overgrown Tomb. We're. Punish for our fetching. I guess our Goyf gets Lightning Axed. Which is kind of bad. Boom. All right. Didn't think about that. <clears throat> I mean, they're just dead next turn. So, like, well, they're not just dead. If they put a sorcery into the graveyard, they're dead. So there's a chance that, uh, yeah, now they're going to have to kill me. Okay. Double Phoenix Bolt. And I'll cry. <clears throat> I didn't think about Blood Moon. Double Phoenix. You have a Bolt. Have a Heart. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, opponent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it.
They don't have Bolt or they would have killed me. Lightning Axe kills this, so they still play. All right, so we gotta worry about Blood Moon now. So on the draw, we probably can shave a Tarmogoyf. Um, we probably can shave like a mutagenic growth because we're gonna be slower, and I'll bring in two more trophies. That still sounds like bad though, because I've got one, two. I guess I only have two removal spells. Okay. I like this on the draw. Yeah, I mean, Snapcaster is okay at the moment. Like, there's some there's some matchups where it's just your best card, and there's some matchups where it's pretty medium. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty solid. I'm probably going to go get Overgrown Tomb, play Wild Nakata. I'm going to hold my Bobble, because if I draw a Swiss Spear, I want the Bobble. Oh, I didn't I didn't update it. Okay, give me give me a second. Alright, um extensions, cardboard live. Give me one second. Streaming magic online upload. All right, it should be set up now. So I might not play a Nakadal into this. I might just dot seize them. Unless I find a second threat. Okay, well now I definitely want to dot seize them, I think. So let's, I think I'm gonna just hold my bobble. But holding my bobble is pretty loose because it only matters for like a Swift Spear. Let's start here. All right, let's take this sleight of hand. Double Bedlam Elvar is annoying. But I actually like to draw another land. I'm gonna do this in the upkeep. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna mess with my decision. They might have, they might go like, they might have discard spells, you never know. Okay, so their their hand is nothing. <clears throat> so I play canal, play this. Okay, that's nice. So I really don't want to get my death shadow bolted. So I'm gonna go get Probably other Blood Crypt. I guess our Shadow gets bolted next turn anyways. Because my Shadow gets bolted next turn, I think they're lower on probes. I'm just going to play both. The odds they flip this are like super, super low. And next turn I get in for 6 points of damage. <clears throat> I'm gonna feel stupid if they flip this thing, but like, all right. They put a card on the bottom. Okay. Uh, this likely misses, but it fuels up our delve. Or yeah, so, okay, double, all right. Don't need that thing blocking. So they've double bedlam over Arc Light Phoenix. <clears throat> yeah, maybe Trouble Claims is good. I, I just played literally I literally just played uh, what my opponent, what the guy played, card for card. So if our opponent puts Arc Light Phoenix on the stack here, we're in good shape. That makes me a little nervous. <sighs> I'm 
All right. So it looks like we're going to get a Phoenix in play coming back from the graveyard. At least I would be surprised. Oh, Terry. We can beat a Terry. They have a Bedlam Reveler. They've got one, two, three, four. So they can't upload. They can't level Terrence up, anyways. Kind of sucks we can't push and trophy once we hit a land. But we got him dead in two turns. Our best hit's like Street Wraith in the Battle Rage for sure. They bolted that. Interesting. That's wild. That's so wild they bolted Nakatl. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we're just going to push, attack, play another shadow. That's so wild. They did that. Like just, my opponent just like didn't want to win. <clears throat> All right, and then just whatever, kill me. It takes quite a bit to kill me here. Like they need, they need another phoenix. They either need two phoenixes or a bolt and a phoenix. And then they're just dead to both. Like, they're dead. They need three blockers because of this trophy. So, I find it very difficult to die. Well, they played again. Pulled again. They played it around Wraith. Right? Because Mutagenic Growth does it with both. And even if you play around Mutagenic Growth, I just... Like, you don't play around anything doing that besides Street Wraith. Alright. You had a Counterspell. Fam. Probably gives me the GGs. All right, one and zero. Despite some questionable plays from our opponent. Yeah, last time this deck was really good. It played Lingering Souls in the sideboard, I remember, to kind of help out the fair matchups. But, like, fair magic in 2019 is a meme. <clears throat> Why don't we play Claim Fame? I don't know. Thanks, Martin Zayek, for subscribing on my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. All right, I would like to play first. And I think I would I would like to keep this hand. And I think I'm just going to play Phil. Hey. I'm just going to play Swift Spear on one. And likely off Blood Crypt and Overgrown Tomb, because we're going to want to cast a lot of black spells this game. This is the making of a turn three, I think. Alright, so we're playing a Shadow Mirror. That was not a good draw. I probably should have played my land so if I find a bolt, I can bolt them. But it's a push, so that's okay. Alright, our hand. 
again so bad that I'm just going to take this dismember. And we're going to start cycling. I'm going to take their serum visions. They can thought seize us, like whatever. Our hand doesn't do anything. Okay, so I know they have three lands. Oh wow, they hit us. They hit a good spell. What a tilt. Ugh. Oh, that was such a savage hit off the top. And now this puts us to one. And we're dead. The shadow off the top was a nail breaker. We also just didn't didn't have a lot of the combo. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we bring in trophy, push, inquisition. What does face shield do? Face shield's probably pretty good as well. I don't think the combo is that good. The growth bolt. Maybe I have to leave in some of the combo. <clears throat> Claim fame seems. Okay, so we'll bring in one of these. I kind of want to cut this. It doesn't really do anything. I want to try this. This might be loose, but I'm going to give it a whirl. There's also a chance we should bring in our Hooting Mandrills for just more threats, but that messes with our Tarmogoyfs. Potentially. Yeah, I'm going to try this. Alright, I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. So let's go get a bull, get an overgrown tomb. So then Sacred Foundry turns on the coddle. This doesn't get Sacred Boundary. If we need to get Sacred Boundary, I don't think we're going to need to. The hand's pretty solid. Snapcaster Mage. Cards I can't beat for 100. Okay. Really on the veil, Gurmag Angler Thought Seas, Fatal Push, Rose. <clears throat> God, I can't beat this hand. I kind of just want to take Thought Seas, to be honest. And then, like, I might hit another discard spell for this fatal push and then be able to like outpace this Liliana. I think that's my that's a good hand. That's gonna be that's gonna be a slog. I don't know if Liliana Veil is a good info to crack Bobo before Thought Seas and not on upkeep. Yeah, I mean that's usually a decent thing to do. I the part of the reason why I did it like I did is because it's pretty reasonable that like I'm gonna take a discard spell there, I think. I don't really want to just play my Tarmogoyf, but if I just play Goyf, at least they're not going to Gurmag Angler me.
Because like then they have to Gurmag on their turn, and I get to like hit it with this. Um, I do that a lot in Shadow Mirrors when the game's a little more intense or a little more like more resource dependent. Any thoughts going on this? Okay. And Miller Shadow. It's a water grave we knew about. Gurmag Angler. Into push? No? Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this. And then it's just gonna get killed. And I kinda have to hope they don't hit their third land. Yeah, I mean. And now we're just like super dead. So we're gonna discard our mutagenic growth. This is gone. They hit into Serum Visions. The problem is if they stub this, then I'm in such a tough spot. But like this card I don't need. Maybe I've got to like hope that they discard a card. And they discard a card like they, they want. I'm wondering if I should kill this Liliana now. I can't play Tarmoloif. If I get stubbed, it's just like vomit inducing. I could have like a Swift Spear here, that'd be pretty nice. Let me just cycle this. Alright, one more time. Alright, let's pass. I'm actually just going to do this now. Just get rid of this. <clears throat> then if we draw land, we can play... We can play Goyf and Nakatl next turn. Problem is a Snapcaster Mage is like a relevant clock. Oh, they're gonna Serum Visions. It's tough. Like I don't really know. I don't really know what my role in this matchup should be. I've never played. This is the first time I played this deck. And I, I think this deck would just manhandle us. All right. Got our two little two twos. It's kind of unfortunate that they are two twos. They kept in battle rage. You brought in Liliana the Veil and kept in battle rage. You don't say, opponent. You don't say. I'm just gonna block. Kind of opens us up to getting a uh, <coughs> God, you brought in Coligon's command and that's just odd. I think they sideboarded weird because like they left this in their deck, but they went like full control, which just seems odd to me. It's not how I would have sideboarded. Okay, I'll play this turn. All right. Well, let's just. Die to Bolt. Hmm. 
Yep. You got it. You got it. I would assume this is like an absolutely atrocious matchup unless you play like Lingering Souls in your sideboard. Like you, you need a whole pile of Lingering Souls to beat this deck. Um, so I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Herder Network. Uh, all the cards you see in the stream are brought to you by Card Herder. Card Herder is now doing a loan program, so you should check them out. Yeah, um, I think it's very competitive with Mana Traders, if not better, depending on what your need is. Um, if you want to interact with me, check me out on Twitter. That's linked below. Jeez, I'm losing my stuff. Um... <laughs> Um, you should check me out on uh, Twitter, which is linked below. If you want to support me more, go over to YouTube and subscribe. It's the best way you can support my content. Um, like just and it's free. So, and then I write every week in MTG Corner, which is linked below. And then you can find the store that I learned to play at, Game of Craze, is also linked below. Their Crystal Commerce is competitive. It is very competitive because they foster a college environment. So just check them out for singles. All right, let's get back to the stream. I'm gonna keep this hand. My opponent mulliganed, I've got multiple threats, some disruption. I think this hand's pretty solid. Let me go see if I missed any follows. Um, go through this turn. So this deck plays Chalice on one. So I think I'm just gonna thought seize them. Do a master waves. Like this new Merfolk deck. Plays chalice. Do I want wild Nicodel or do I want overgrown? I want a green source more than I want Monastery Swift Spear, even though I think it's probably better. My best threat at this point. Let's just take the Lord. So opponent's missing a land drop. All right. So now we can either play Tarmogoyf or double one drop. And I kind of like playing double one drop. Because we're going to be looking to delve anyways. Yeah, especially now that we drew that. I'm going to go grab some more coffee when my phone thinks up. No, mom, it's tired. Let it be, Phil. Alright, my opponent losing connection or something. What's going on here? Okay. Let's get Sacred Foundry. Play Swiss Spear. Bobble. Get a Prowess Trigger. They are drawing spell pierce. Whatever. I don't think that matters. How's it going, Teddy? Okay. So if I bolt this prowess, they spell pierce. Two, three, nine, twelve. So we don't have them yet. So then I'm just gonna dismember it so that I can play a larger shadow, I think. Let them let them pierce it. 
<clears throat> Collecting thoughts is important. Okay. Now we're just going to attack for five, play a shadow, and then they're like pretty dead. So I can just bolt them and, uh, So I can just bolt them out and then become immense. This deck's neat. Its numbers are really weird though. Like, I don't really understand a lot about what's going on with this. I think this deck needs, like, I don't know, even though, like, the fair decks are so bad, you're just so bad against the fair decks, I think you need Lingering Souls in the sideboard. This is a matchup where I don't know if the combo's good, because they have so much, um, like, they're probably going to have Relics, and they have Spell Pierce. So I kind of just want to... And like they have chump blockers for eternal life. I kind of just want to cut all of these, bring these in because this leaves not a chunk blocker. It's pretty bad against graveyard hate, but so is this. And then I want to bring in here. We can probably cut one of these. Brutality is too slow. Bring like this in. Maybe leave in like one. Nah, I don't really want to leave in one become immense if I'm bringing in the mandrels. Probably just two trophies and call it a day. Yeah, because they have they have uh whatever the dumb card is, such a sideboard. Um they have chalice. All right, we have that double mandrel start. One, two, three. Uh, I got a mulligan. Yeah, this hits much better. And that is a good walk card to put on top. <clears throat> so we're going to lead on Swift Spear. We're not going to... Uh, I don't th even think we're going to cycle anything. This is going to go get me Blood Crypt. God, fetching this deck is hard. This feels like I'm going to beat my own with some hands. The thing is I don't get is why Hooting Mandrels. But good to see it in action. I you boarded them in. Yeah, the Hooting Mandrels are weird. Like I, I get what they're... like. They're probably pretty decent matchups like this. So maybe maybe they're just better than Tarmogoyf, but that's probably too much delve. But I don't think Tarmogoyf is very good in this deck. Like I remember Tarmogoyf being super, super slow. We got Dismember, my... All right, you got it. I probably should have brought in Faith Shield, actually, to like get over like Master of Wave tokens. But I guess that's not a super issue. Chalice for one. Jeez. All right, let's cycle. Uh, we still just get to play Hooting Mandrels. So now we go get Stomping Ground. Because I need a green source. Probably can just get Overgrown Tomb, though. See what they're drawing. They're drawing another chalice, gas. The first one's good, the second one's better. Oh, I didn't have to crack my bottle, I guess. 
<clears throat> we have, what, two trophies in the deck? I'll probably side an Ancient Grudge after this game. I'm trying to think of this. There's probably Step Legs. That's what they used to play. Okay, so we have, they have a Master coming. We need to find Battle Rage. Pretty quick, in my opinion. I think I'm going to cycle. We have to take a bunch of damage to play this, but... I think that's I think it's what we're doing with our lives. So now I get Godless Shrine. <clears throat> now we might be able to race them. Well, they're not playing as many gut shots anymore. They're playing Serum Vision. They're playing uh, whatever they are. Um, they're playing, I can't think. They're playing surgicals. Give me one second. Okay. All right, so I'm just serving. But if I just serve and they attack, if I serve and they hit a land that can kill me, I think I'm just gonna attack. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna attack and we're gonna hope they miss. Awesome, I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll take this with the lords waiting. Oh, that's bad. Turn off auto yields. All right, bolt you. I probably should have been doing this anyways. <clears throat> Just gonna preserve my life total. So we know they have a chalice and a master. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. We're up to 80 viewers. Y'all are great. Y'all are great. All right. Who? All right, now we attack. They showed us Deprive earlier, but they would need to hit land, which they did. Maybe I was supposed to, I was probably supposed to do this on my main phase. Yeah, I was so stupid. I was worried about them like shooting, like slingshotting up in mana and then playing like a master of waves. But like that doesn't matter because this isn't what I'm going to play on Dad. Yeah, I just tossed that. 
I keep thinking this comes into play tapped. So I, I can get away with it on my on doing it on their turn. And I like because I didn't want to slingshot them up in mana, but I should have just done it again. That was stupid. Very stupid. I think we want a grudge. And I think we kind of want to be maybe a little more combo on the play. Like we don't really want this inquisition. I'm gonna board in one more one become events, I think. Like we kind of filled our graveyard really well there. No, I'm gonna board in a Tinker Battle Rage. Submit. That was stupid of me to do it like that. Okay. So this is probably getting me stopping rounds with this hand. This is a really solid hand. A little tough to turn on shadow quickly, but... I'm just going to take this Relic. It's kind of mopey, but like, I could take the Silver Girl Adept, which might be the better one to take, but I would like to be able to set this Hooting Mandrels up. Okay. So now we need like a Street Wraith. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to take this. But I'm kind of okay with them if they build up somewhat of a board because like I should just be able to battle rage them out of the game. So, I don't know. Yeah, you got an opponent. I can bolt myself, play Death Shadow. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if my opponent attacks me. Like I would like for them to attack me. Spreading seas. What if I trophy my own spreading seas? Um, if I trophy this, I just counter it and I get myself a forest. Then this goes and gets me Blood Crypt. One, two, three. And then I can play Hooting Mandrels and I just counter this. I'm kind of down for that. And I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. No, I can't trophy my own things, right? An opponent controls. I can't do it to mine. Haven't played a lot with that card. So I have to get a black land. So now I guess I just trophy. Oh, I had to get a... It's probably not the right land to get there. Yeah. Well, now do I even trophy this, or do I just, like, I let them attack me? Are they even going to attack me? I probably have to just trophy the Spreading Seas. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. God damn it. No, don't. Come on, let, let me let me respond. Let me respond. Give me priority. No, I clicked through it. I have to trophy the Spreading Seas. Don't do this to me. No. I need to at least trophy something. But I think I clicked through what I wanted to do there. Yes. You don't even have to buy. You can rent it from Traders or Card Hoarder. Should check out Card Hoarder, though. Especially if you want to switch decks. I think Card Hoarder's got a better deal than Traders does. 
at the moment for people that want to because it's like three percent of what you rent. You can rent out to a thousand tickets. Oh, that's annoying. I wanted to. I had to at least hit this. Yeah, I want a trophy seize, but I think I clicked through it. So I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, Magic Online's not going anywhere, but going anywhere. As long as Wizards still offers you ways to get on the Pro Tour via Moto, Moto will always have a place. Yeah, because we clicked through, we couldn't do it. All right, our opponent attacks. Might mean they have dismember, but we have two shadows. Okay, so now I just play two. That was a nice draw. We got we got rewarded. We got a bailed out there, I guess. Play one, play two. Yeah, Moto's not going anywhere. I mean, like, Arena is the future for sure, but Magic Online is, is definitely not going anywhere. We have quite a few draws that win us the game here. Okay. Give another dismember. They have another dismember. At least we have Hootie to hook us up. If we draw a fetch land, we're we probably they're probably just super dead if we draw a fetch land. Oh, the fact that they held up here means they probably have a counter spell. All right, let's see if they've got a counter spell. Okay, they have a trickster. You tricky boy. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four. It's more likely we have a Colorgon's Command in our deck than a uh, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, I think people are missing the point. As well as the Solar Skull Relation is more than usual going to do. So it's kind of like in the Whoa. Island Walk. I don't know what just happened here, but like, it was not good for the home team. So block, block, we take four. I guess we just wait. No, I should just do this now so I don't get messed up again. Solar Coalitions and Martins are getting MTGO. And calling it a, I don't know, I'm not sure I agree with calling it a soulless corporation, right? Like they, they make money. That's what they do, they create products. Yeah, if you play only modern and you like want to, yeah, we're dead. So I could have played that game differently to make it so my shadow would have survived a dismember. How's it going, J Baseball? But I just I didn't. I probably should have. Would have worked out much better. Other problem. 
Pretty boy. Pretty boy. You want to say hi to Twitch chat, Phil? All right, Twitch chat, we're going for a ride. Say hi to Phil, Twitch chat. Pity boy. Pity boy. Pity boy. Oh, you're going to lick, lick Twitch chat? Getting all up in Twitch chat's business. Okay. Get this back here set up. Yep, good morning, everyone. Jeff the Jace, yes. Benny who, look at Phil. Benny is, Benny's the cutest dog that's under 30 pounds. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to cycle my street wraith first to kind of help me with what land I should fetch. Oh. No magic card play with Phil. Because I would like a second land that will inform me a little bit. So now it doesn't really matter. So I can go Godless Shrine Stomping Ground. So let's go get Stomping Ground. Yeah, I'm going to play Wild Nicotle. So that I can go like... Thought Seize plus um, Bolt next turn if I got to. You making it to LA? I am not making it to LA. Okay, they're wobbling. So we're playing another Shadow Deck. Ugh. Okay. This is gross. All right, they're just going to play that out. So we just like have to attack them, even though it enables like what they're doing. That's the land we wanted to fetch. So we can go fetch Sacred Foundry. Yeah, I think we're just going to go like this. It, it, it gives away what we drew, but I would like to be able to get a second black source or a second red source off of this fetch land. Hey, Phil. And hopefully we have enough threats here to take it home. <clears throat> do you have a deck list for the Rug Terminator list? I, I do. I mean, it's, but it, it'll be on my YouTube channel. It was not very good, which I probably could have seen coming. So we're going to be able to pump our Tarmogark to a 5 likely next turn. Our opponent does need some removal spells here. They're, they're, they're in a lot of trouble. If this is just play Gurmag Angler, I think my opponent's dead. Or just play Death Shadow. Okay, so they're dead. Unless they have double Street Wraith here. Kill you. Okay. Thought seizing my thought seize was a little loosey goosey. Okay, so the combo is likely not great in this matchup. But maybe we just need it. Like cards that are decent are probably like trophy, push, inquisition. Maybe even like duress, but duress doesn't have snapcast to make like the important. Probably faith shield.
Mutagenic growth is probably pretty medium as well without the combo. So maybe I can leave in like. Go like this. I don't know. This matchup seems atrocious. I think I'm gonna try this. We might try to like go full aggression on the on the play. Like we might sideboard very differently on the play than on the draw. Might need mutagenic growth just to like win the shadow fights. Put a mulligan gas. That's our number one way to win this matchup. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at our top card. Then we're just going to play our Nakatl. Not good. So let's go get Stomping Ground. This is this Nakato is probably dead as a doorknob. Wow, it's not dead as a doorknob. Okay. My opponent getting a land tap there indicates they have a Gurmag Angler hand. Oh, my nose is so itchy. I'm actually just going to check out my top card here because I think my top card being good is worth more than squeezing an A point. It's not good. So that makes that easy. I'm going to get a Godless Shrine. And then just play Goyf. Oh, this isn't Fetch Godless Shrine. That's okay. Land problems. I should have led with a different land. Goyce probably dead. Yeah. Hey Dylan, could you tell me when Jace Prince Bobby is good? I'm not really seeing it. I am on paper, but I cannot figure it out. It comes in in every single matchup that Snapcaster Mage comes in. So whenever Snapcaster is good, Jace is good. It's like a Liliana. Come on, back up, back up. <clears throat> I think I have to just claim back my Tarmogoyf. Play Swift Spear and pass. This plays right into a stub, but like whatever. Depending on what my opponent does, we might be able to get him next turn. That's not going to help us out. Oh, it might help us out. I'm going to bolt this shadow.
All right, opponent got me. All right, and now we're just gonna go for it. So three, if I haste, give this haste, pump set. They block, no, I can't go for anything. I can like kill the shadow, but that's really it. Give me one second. Okay, I have to. I think I actually have to have to pass. No, I just need to. I just need to keep. I just need to watch him because he he got neutered and he just can't get into his stitches. I'm just gonna play this tapped. If I can't kill my opponent, if I had a lightning bolt, I might be able to kill my opponent. But I spewed it on the shadow, which I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to block the shadow. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, but I wanted some coffee. So hopefully we can just get him here. Like we have to go for it, so we need to draw like a spell. And that counts. So whatever. I'm just dead to lightning bolt anyways. So let me go fetch a basic. I guess maybe there's a chance that I could have ordered sequence this differently. Yeah, I probably could have sequenced this differently. Yeah, I'm sure I could have sequenced. We still might get them. Because this is five. Yeah, I think they're still dead. Unless they need, they need one more way to interact or they're still just dead. Do you have another stub? Oh, you bastard. Got him. 
They got him. Okay. So now we're on the play. I think I want to be more aggressive on the play. So let's cut like this. Let's just ditch these lightning bolts and then let's bring in mutagenic growths. <clears throat> yeah, they had they were they were stubborn that game. And yeah, we're just gonna try to be much more aggressive, I think. Do something like this. I could even cut a land and bring in like a like a a become immense. Oh, this hand's not good. Mulligan against the Thoughtseize deck is horrible. All right, this hand's pretty solid. I'm going to play my Swift Spear on one. Well, now I think I'm actually going to play my Nicole on one. So I want to go get Overgrown Tomb, Sacred Foundry. So Overgrown Tomb... Play this. <clears throat> At least I think sequencing lands with this deck is difficult. If they just bolt this, it's going to feel bad, but like. They might just take my thoughtsies. Okay, so you took my Nakadal. Interesting. That's an odd one to take. So let's go get Sacred Foundry. I'm going to hold this Street Wraith. Give me a chance to draw a spell next turn. Jeez. Um, I'm just going to take this Gurmag Angler. That's a really odd hand. Double looting is a lot. I could have taken a looting. But if they go like looting into Gurmag Angler, then like it's going to feel pretty bad. They're probably dishing like Colagon's command. And then another looting. Wow, they just didn't hit a land. Alright. I'm surprised they ditched another looting. Alright, let's cycle this. I think I'm just gonna crack them and play a shadow. It gets a little awkward if they have a Death Shadow. <coughs> but I can just attack with... I can just Thoughtseize them and attack with my Shadow. To make it lethal next turn. Alright. Alright, this will be the last match of the stream. Hopefully we can get that 3-2. I'm assuming this deck's very good against something that's like super non-interactive. Like that's what we want to see here. We haven't got like a real busted draw yet with it. On the play against Tom Baby, <laughs> Tom Batty. All right, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, probably will get Overgrown Tomb with this. I think so. I'm gonna cycle first. Actually, I might get a little bit of information here. Yeah, I'm gonna go get.
I'm gonna get overgrown tomb so that I can cast. I think casting Thoughtseize on average is better than Lightning Bolt. But I guess I take a point off of my Nakadal by doing that. Gross. This is not the matchup where I want to be taking a million damage. I need a shadow like ASAP. Rose. How do I win? One, two, three, four. I have to draw Death Shadow in like the next. I have to draw Death Shadow next turn, probably. I think I'm going to try to block this Swiss Spear. The problem is if I block it, then I usually, if I want to trade with it, I have to shoot my mutagenic growths off. All right, we're just going to, I think I'm just going to take this, and then we're going to have the top card of our library be Death Shadow, and they can't kill us. And then, like, even after Death Shadow, we need help. Okay. That was unfortunate. So I think Tarmogoyf is way too slow in this matchup. I think we want to cut those and then bring in Hooting Bandrels. Because Tarmogoyf have not been good. Um, I think their growths are better than Street Wraiths. So I want these, and I want these. And I want these. You can probably cut this member. Then maybe just shave some of these. Like I, I well, we probably want to cut. Like that's a lot of delve. God, that is a lot of delve. Um. Thanks, uh, Bensty22. Have a good one, Jay Baseball. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to submit. I'm going to go to this. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to keep like a combat, a uh, combo kind of hand. <clears throat> All right, I would like to play first. Okay. I'm going to lead on a Swift Fear just to start the damage. If this was a like a discard spell that could hit a creature, I'd think about it. But I think we're gonna want to escalate brutality next turn. Likely killing a creature and nugging our opponent. Okay, they just killed my creature. All right. I'm just gonna duress them. All right, I'm going to take Lightning Bolt because he can hit a creature, I guess. Then we're going to end up probably getting a tap land and uh, killing that Eidolon on this turn. And then we're going to take Lava Spike. So this is giving me Stomping Grounds tapped. All right, so we can ditch the Become Immense to it. So let's escalate with two modes. 
minus 2 minus 2 Oh, now we're going to take this path. <clears throat> the next turn we can play Hooter and Shadow potentially. Okay. So I just have a skewer. So we go to eight. They deal three. If they draw a one mana burn spell, they kill me. Oh. That's what we're doing. Play this. Play shadow. Then pass. And then we're going to need to draw probably the combo. Like we need a battle rage off the top. Playing burn against this deck without stubborn denial seems like an awful experience. All right, I go to two. Really? Got him. Okay. <clears throat> By the skin of our teeth. Target permanent if you you control each permanent you contain. I think we're just gonna keep it the same. Then we're just gonna get them. We're gonna get them. Uh, I mean, this hand doesn't take a lot of damage and can, like, we have become immense. So if we draw, like, we're going to be able to delve it quickly. And if we draw Teamer Battle Rage, we can get them. That's not a bad draw. This is an idol on it kind of sucks because we have to go like fetch shot. Push. Okay. It's a little annoying. Okay, so we have three, seven, eleven points of power. <clears throat> I probably have to go get my forest and save this. And I'm gonna just pay with um not muta or not Phyrexian it. And if they want to bolt it, they can bolt it. It's gonna kind of feel bad. They have two spells. They have two cards in hand. We're at eleven. Oh, I probably should have played a fetch land so I could give myself the option to kill something, but fetch shocking is a little sketchy. <clears throat> our opponent's pretty much exhausted our resources at this point. I'm actually going to just do this right now so they don't Boros Charm it. 
and then I don't turn on spectacle on their turn. All right, just gonna pass. So any creature wins me the game pretty much right now. All right, give me one card in hand. I need a creature off the top really bad. That's the best one. I'm a little punished for not shocking. I should have fetched a tap land because if this is a path to exile, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Yeah. I deserve that. I deserve that for sure. And I'm just going to fetch... Now I'm going to not replicate my mistake, even though it puts me to five. But the, the thoughts he's going to put me to three. That was likely our window to win the game, though. Yeah, now we're just dead. Yeah, I punted. I needed to fetch a black source so that I could thought seize be at four and then kill them next turn. Yep. This probably means they have Searing Blaze. All right, that one was my fault. I tossed that match. Because if I had just thought seized them, or got fetch a black source, thought seized to six, I would have thought seized from six to four. I guess I would have gone to three still. So I was, I was still living on the edge, so maybe it's not right to do. I'm not sure. But let's go back to the deck. This deck feels really weird. And it could just be that I don't really know how to play it. But there's just like... I don't know, it's just odd. It's very it's a very odd deck. And I'm not sure like how good it is really. Like if nobody messes with you, it's the fastest shadow deck. But like if anybody does any sort of disruption against you, then like I don't know. I would not play this deck. But it it seems like I I, I get I get what it's doing. So let me find you guys someone. Let me find someone to send you guys to. I appreciate everyone that showed up and hung out today. Um, I hope that. Um, we're going to send, I don't know any, I don't know anybody on at the moment, but we're going to send you over to this guy that's playing modern. Looks like he just 5 out a league. So he luckily has something good going on. So we're going to send you guys over to this guy. Um, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Please hit the follow button on the way out. All these, both these videos will be up on YouTube later today. But besides that, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.